Hi guys, welcome back. Let's start. Uh, oh, letter on the floor. Do, do. Mail to the chief. You are a sick bastard and rapes women. To Brian Hines, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab faculty due to the actions of renegade operation operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effect upon our continued virus research. Only our present concern is the presence of the remaining stars members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin to Brian Irons, Chief of Police Department. I have deposited the amount of $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus schedule to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is important imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining stars members are still attempting to uncover information on, on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate their underground research faculties. William Birkin. To Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are, there are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. William Birkin Uh-oh. Claire! Ah. Oh. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? What if she gets attacked? That won't be very nice, would it? Coming back to a dead Sherry. Poor girl. Bet she don't know what's going on. So yeah, we can assume that Brian Hines is a sick bastard. And let's hope we never cross paths with him because he'll probably try raping us. He's seriously sick. Uh, yeah. Whoa. With a fancy doll with a fire. <laughs> oh no. So you've made it Shit. this far. Not bad, girl. He's gonna rape us now. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. What a psycho. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Genius behind the project. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry. Isn't it? Shut up, you sick rapist. He's gone pedo now. Already figured it out. The monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G Virus. Ultimate bio. Shut up. 
you sick rapist, Connie. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. What do I have to go for? I'm going to take you with me. Why? We haven't done anything to you. You fucking sick or you just want to rape her. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, it's gonna get me now though. It's gonna get me now though. Oh shit. It's gonna get me now. He does my fucking edit. In case you haven't noticed, the monster has been tearing with my precinct apart. Fuck off. He's yellow lover. Fuck off. Yeah, the monster that's been tearing your precinct apart is called Mr. X, I think. Because he's the only one that's been tearing down walls and stuff. Fucking sick cunt. Oh, what is that? Oh, did he actually chop that woman up? He is a sick bastard. <gasps> Fucking hell. Whoa. What's happened to him? You're not even going to say anything. He's been fucking split in two. And he's just standing there watching it. Oh shit, you can fuck off and leave me alone, come any closer and I will kill you. You didn't you hear me? I said come any closer and I will kill you. I will shoot your monkey eyeball into fucking oblivion. Go away. I said not to come any closer. You are one seriously messed up fucker. Okay. So he's appears to have gone. Thank God. There's some service of sick individuals in this game. Oh yeah, shit, sorry. Forgot about you. It's a good job she weren't there, because she would have seen what her dad turned into. And that wouldn't have been nice, would it? Poor girl, this... I bet he comes back or something, or I bet irons it's up there. But he's turned into a monster. Hmm. I find it kind of odd that irons and Birkin were working together. And Birkin killed irons like that. It makes it makes me think if they had like, if um, Birkin still got human traits, like a bit of human left. Because obviously Irons didn't do his job properly because he didn't protect him from getting the virus, uh, the vi yeah, the virus research stolen. Blair, you came back. We're not going to leave you, are we? I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, nothing. Claire? It's nothing. 
but I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Okay, don't be like Ada and don't run away. If you don't run away, then we'll get on re really well. Poor girl. Yeah, which makes me think if he's got some human left in him still because he attacked iron. I find it a bit weird. And we already know the monster that's been tearing his precinct apart, his umbrella, um, is Mr. Egg. Because that weren't working that didn't that. It weren't Birkin because that got dropped from an helicopter and Birkin wouldn't have wanted that. And plus, Birkin's got nothing to do with Umbrella. So, well, he yeah, asked, he was working for him. <gasps> What's happening? Come on, let's get out of here. Maybe he jumped and I thought something was going to happen. <gasps> something is happening. Oh no, no, shit. Why are you standing there? <gasps> no. Sherry, where are you? Sherry. Oh. That's not fair. Poor Sherry. She's been swept away down the drain like a piece of sewage. Yeah, like I was thinking, yeah, like, um, obviously, Umbrella have sent that monster in to kill any survivors, I'm only guessing that. Won't kill me though, we won't get a chance. Pause and read. Yeah, they won't get a chance to kill me. I keep killing it. As long as it stays away, I don't care what it does. The fact is, yeah. Brian, Brian gives the wallow about all, everything that's happened between Umbrella stabbing him in his back and everything. He can wallow as much as he wants. But the fact is, he deserves it for being involved with them in the first place. So he's got nothing to moan about. He deserves it. I've been a greedy fat cunt. Nothing here. Nothing there. But 
yeah, Irons deserves everything he fucking gets for being a greedy fat cunt. He should have fucking gone behind the city's back and authorised everything that's gone on. Shit. Shit. My aim is seriously off track because I can't see what I'm doing. Shit. Let's just go. Probably not wasting any more bullets. Can't go through there. It's weird because there's a shaft there in the wall. Oh yeah, you can shoot. I miss auto -aim. Wait, so you're telling me all that for nothing? Okay, thank you game for ripping me off. Okay. Right, so we got some rounds anyway. Yeah, what I don't understand is why Brian is blaming everyone else for what's gone on. Fucking fat cunt. He's just another barrack. Gormless as shit. Oh, it's Leon. What happened? You're bleeding. I, I, I ran into this woman who is in trouble. Her name's Ada. Right after that. Someone tried to kill me. No, they didn't. Nearly succeeded, too. No, they didn't. Ada went after the sniper, but... I I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before... S before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. No, she didn't try killing you. You got in the way. That's what happened. So don't tell lies and don't stick up for Ada. It was Ada that she wanted to kill them. You. Why is my game being slow? Hello, game. Stop being slow. Thank you. Oh, you see all those herbs? Wow. Ah. This is what I came in here. These weren't here when Leon was in here. Is that it? Good. Right. Let's do some combining. I'm just going to take that, oh I need a lighter, I'm just going to take that with me because just in case I uh, get poisoned, the blue herb, mixed it in together. Yeah, but how does he know that the monster's been tearing his precinct apart? He's been in that office all day hiding. Oh, I've been killing the fucking monsters. He ain't done shit, he's just sat on his ass. And blame everyone else for what's going on. Bastard. He 
You should have stole his gun as well. I would have done. After what he's been up to. And I'm glad that he died, because I've got no sympathy for the bastard. some stuff back so you don't need all that do we Take the flame ones. The flame ones are less powerful, so I want to use them ones just for killing things with. Maybe we'll be able to kill the spiders out there, set them on fire. Then we can have um, roast, roasted tarantula. Has anyone ever had that? I've heard that you can eat like tarantula, but it's been cooked in the oven. It's you wouldn't catch me doing it. I forgot where I saw it. I think I saw it on the TV. I was watching um, I'm a Celebrity and they were doing the challenge and they had to eat a tarantula. Like, the guy that was eating it said it's like pork scratchings, but I don't care what it's like. I just still want to eat it. Right, so we can't go up there because that fan is on. So we should only lose that way. Fuck off, I'm not even going to bother killing these. I'm guessing that's when Ada slapped her down and she fell. So she didn't. Are you alright? What happened? Get away from me. You just want my husband's consent, don't you? But no, no we don't. It's already been taken. You should no no. It's gone. It's in the sewers. Husband? Then you must be in that. Huh? How did you? We don't have time for that. Sherry is lost somewhere in the sewer system. I have to find her. What? I told her to go to the police building. Why is she here? Because we brought her down here because you left her up there with that monster running around. Now Sherry and the Cheese Apple are both in danger. Uh. What did she mean by that? Does Sherry have the Cheese Apple? She better fucking not do. I didn't even know there was a sample anyway. News to me. cares more about a G sample than she does a fucking daughter. She told her to go to the police station. The police station is just equally as dangerous as going outside. Obviously she hasn't been outside lately. The streets were calling us on. Oh no. The 
to do this crocodile thing again. No. I don't want to. No, we don't. I don't know. Yeah, you got Shit, I forgot to do that. Got to put the um, floor back up. Stupid me. Let's get going. I'd like to know where Sherry's gone though. She's nowhere to be seen. And by the sounds of it, they've given her the fucking sample. They've probably put it in her body, knowing them sick bastards. Didn't she say to Ada that they um, can implant with, to create offspring? Pause and read. Yeah, I'm sure Annette said that if he comes into contact. So I'm thinking if William knows that Cherry's got it or if he can smell it or whatever, detect it, then Cherry's in big trouble. Go back to sleep. Leave me alone. You stupid zombies. And you can stay down there and all. Yes, I do need to use it now. See?
guessing that door is supposed to be hidden. Alright. On that note, let's leave the video. Um, I think we ended it here with Always Leon, which is coincidence. <laughs> See you in the next part, guys, where we um, go down to the car. Thanks for watching.